Welcome to Nintendo Ninja News, and we are here with the latest news on Fire Emblem Heroes on smart devices and iPads. It is going to get a big update, and here is some of the April update that is coming ahead. In Inherit Skill and Merge Allies, it will become possible to inherit skills that were previously inherited when using Merge Allies. Um, Let's just say Marth has inherited this special skills slot. If Marth has inherited um, Sloan, has used as a source character for merge allies, the target Marth will also inherit that same ability. So those who are very much into the game, they know what that means. Hit hero merit. Heroes that take part in battles will earn hero merit or HM. <clears throat> Once a hero has earned enough hero merit, you can acquire hero feathers, which is interesting. New rules for combat. Two new rule sets for battle will be added. Defense. Clear the map by defending against enemy attacks for a set number of turns in reinforcements. Enemy reinforcements will appear on the map. There is also adjustments to arena scores and matchmaking changes are coming to how the game handles those sort of things. They're matched on certain things now they'll be based on four barriers which is character levels and star ratings number of bonuses gained by using merge allies total base stats after removing the effects from all skills including weapon skills and equipped skills bonus hero descriptions in the arena which is very good notification display adjustments uh, will automatically appear only once a day not pop up a day again until the next day so, which is interesting. A new way to expand your hero's abilities. Uh, when they have plans to add a new equipable item that slightly expands hero abilities. More information will come there. Uh, the grand hero battles planned up until the end of May. Um, they have late March for the Ambitionist King. We have the Scarlet Sword for l early April. Zemanin, the Libertor. Liberator and a couple others for May and obviously they have future plans and of course the big news I guess for some they're adding position options and stunner a cap to 99 instead of 50 which I think uh, some people thought that was a bit of a limiting issue so that's not too bad and uh, hopefully people like those changes so that's it for me and I shall see you later on